Hey guys, so it is currently 6 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, uh, May 5th, so happy Cinco de Mayo to anybody who celebrates. I'm not, I don't really celebrate, so whatever. Um, but today I am going to be talking about a new product I've recently tried and I'm going to be reviewing, and that is the Rimmel London BB Cream 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Makeup. I picked this up about a month ago at Target. I'm like, you know what? Claire from Budget Beautiful, who I really love her videos, but she hasn't been making any lately, so I'm not really sure. I hope she's okay and everything, but she recommended this because she picked it up and really liked it, and I'm like, you know what? It was on sale for like, I think it was either like, it was in the range of six to eight dollars on sale. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pick it up and try it and see what I like. Um, it's a pretty decent BB cream. I don't really have too many complaints about it. It is SPF 25, and you get one fluid ounce of product, so this is a pretty decent amount. Um, the packaging is pretty basic. I don't I don't really care about the packaging. It's nice though because it's not a pump, but you basically just will kind of squirt the product out onto your fingers because you have a cap, which makes it a little more sanitary than like a bottle sort of. So I do like that about it. I do like that it's also SPF 25. The color range for this is okay. There's like a light, a medium, like a medium dark and then a dark. So there's only a couple of shades, which kind of stinks, but BB creams tend to kind of like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? um like turn into your skin tone so it's pretty nice this one is light and it's not super light but it actually works with my skin pretty well it doesn't make me look orange so it doesn't like oxidize very much on my skin but i just like i just like what it looks like on my skin so i that i like um, so the nine in one aspect of this, um, it's supposed to prime, moisturize, minimize pores, conceal, cover, smooths, mattifies, brightens, and helps protect to last all day. Uh, I, for all of those, I'm not really sure which ones it really does. Minimize pores, didn't really notice. Conceals, yeah, it did cover up some of my redness. Covers, it's definitely light coverage, but you could build this up. Smooths, I wouldn't really say it smooths out. Mattifies, uh, I wore a powder over this and I did not get oily for eight hours, so it does have kind of a mattifying factor. Brightens, I don't really think my skin looked any brighter than it normally does, and helps protect. And it does that because it has SPF 25. So this would be great to wear if you're like going to a, a festival or something in the spring and summertime and you just want light coverage on your face, which would be really great. So what I actually did was a couple of days ago, I tried this out for the first time. I know it's bad. It was like a month before I tried it. And I filmed two short video clips, one in the morning when I first applied it and one in the afternoon when I got home from work. So was, there was about almost a 10 hour span from when I first applied it and when I got out of work. So I'm gonna inso, insert both of those clips here so you guys can check out my reactions. Hi guys, so it's about seven o'clock on Friday morning and I'm doing sort of an experiment today. So I thought I would take you guys along for the ride. So today I am trying out my Rimmel BB cream that I picked up a few weeks ago. I only wore it once on the weekend for a couple hours, but today I'm gonna put it to the true test for a full eight hours of wear and see how it goes. So with the BB cream, I have a Benefit Professional Primer on my chin and my forehead and in the areas where I get oily. And then I also have a translucent powder over it. So we'll see how it lasts all day. I'm very curious to see if it's gonna give me eight hours of wear. It doesn't really say anything on here about that, but we'll give it a shot. So I will update you guys when I get home later. And as you can see, it gives my skin, <clears throat> evens my skin out a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really add too much to my complexion. This also has SPF 25, which doesn't really matter because I've been inside all day. But anyways, I will update you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, so it is now 5 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday to update you on the wear and tear of my Rimmel BB cream. I felt like it lasted pretty good all day. I didn't get oily or anything because of the powder I wore. Um, the only thing about it I noticed is that it started to look kind of like it just sat on top of my skin. It didn't really sink in in a couple of spots. So that's really all I have to say about it. Um, I feel like it didn't really do a ton for my skin. 
it looked better this morning than it did this afternoon. It definitely helped even my skin tone out. The one thing that really drives me nuts is that everything under the sun oxidizes on my skin. And this definitely did. If you look at my face color compared to my neck color, it's definitely a little bit darker. So that kind of drives me crazy. But, you know, you can't really get perfect results from stuff. So, yeah, that's how that turned out. Um, otherwise, this weekend, it's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. So I'll try and give it some more wear and tear. When I go and do stuff this weekend, I'm getting a pedicure tomorrow morning. I'm really excited. And then going out to lunch with my sister because we're getting pedicures together. Um, then I think Saturday night we are going, Saturday afternoon I'm going with my mom to go furniture shopping. Hopefully I can get a set for my apartment because I move in in less than a month, which is really, really super exciting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little BB cream video thing. And so I'll talk to you later. Bye. So overall, I would say I pretty much like this BB cream. It's one of the better ones that I've tried. I've tried the Dr. Jart BB cream. I've tried the... I've just tried a bunch of different ones, but Dr. Jart's one I've tried. It doesn't really last all well. This one I would definitely say did last for eight hours, so it definitely does have some lasting power. Uh, I liked how it, what it felt like on my skin. It actually made me feel like I had no makeup on at all, which is definitely a plus because I hate when you feel like you actually have makeup on your face, so you kind of feel cakey. Um, this didn't really oxidize on my skin or anything. It's slightly darker than like my neck, so I did have to blend it out a little bit. So my face was a little bit darker than my like normal skin tone, which is n really normal. It's really hard to sheer out this kind of a product because there's such a limited amount of shade. So you could mix in your moisturizer with it. I haven't tried that, but I can. Um, so yeah, those are the two big pluses. It doesn't feel like you're wearing makeup. It lasted all day. The only thing about it that I didn't like was that it kind of grabbed dry patches, which is kind of an eh for me because I, I have dry combination skin. So I'll, I get really dry in my chin and like my cheek areas. So I noticed that throughout the day, those areas tended to be more noticeable than they normally were. So that was one thing I didn't like. And it didn't really cover up redness, but I feel like it evened my skin tone out pretty good, if that makes sense to anybody. So overall, I pretty much liked this product. I definitely recommend you pick it up because it's really affordable. You can get it at like Target, Walmart, uh, CVS, Rite Aid, any of those drugstores. It's not expensive at all. I think it's under $10 at most places. So overall, I would say give this a go. And if you guys try this out and you like it, um, leave a comment below. If you want to know anything else about it that I can try and clarify, just let me know. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and found it informative, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!